Welcome everybody to Yoga This Morning. My name is Sally Mitchell and thank you for being here and practicing. So we're going to start in a seat. So coming into a comfortable seat on your mat. You can be maybe sitting up on something if you like. I'm sitting on a block. You could sit on a, a cushion or a blanket if you like. So it's nice to have the hips a little bit higher than the knees to help the, the low back and the spine be nice and long and tall. And just resting the hands down on the thighs and softly closing your eyes. So today's class will be a gentle yoga flow. I will give options and modifications for different abilities and maybe different adjustments for different parts of the body. Please listen to your body and adjust as needed. So just feeling the sense of arriving here this morning on your yoga mat. Just being fully present right here, right now, as you feel the sit bones grinding down to the mat. Feeling the support of the earth under your seat. And then take a nice deep inhale, lengthening the spine, reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears, roll the shoulders back and down, melting the shoulder blades down the back. And just drawing the awareness inward as you let go of anything from your morning, any busyness in the mind, anything from the beginning of the week. Just leaving all that behind you and just drawing the awareness to the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose if that feels available. I'm beginning to slow down and feel the depth of the breath as you, if you can breathe all the way into the belly. Feeling the belly expand and rise as you inhale. Maybe the ribcage expands, the chest, the lungs, the upper back. And as you exhale, releasing from the chest, the lungs, the ribcage, and draw the belly back towards the spine at the end of the exhale. So nice, deep, slow breathing. Feel this fullness of the breath. Breathing in this prana, this life force energy. Relaxing the nervous system, creating heat and warmth in the body. Just notice if there's any thoughts going on in the mind. Just allowing those thoughts just to drift in and drift by and just coming back to the breath. Using the breath just to anchor you back into the present moment, to be fully present with the breath, with the body. As you inhale, circle the arms all the way up, reaching up through the fingers. And as you exhale, draw the palms together down through center in front of the heart and taking a moment just to open with an intention for your practice of giving your practice some deeper meaning, some purpose. Breathing your intention through the body. And then placing the hands down towards the thighs, softly opening the eyes. Taking the right hand down to the mat, bending the right elbow into the side, fingertips point away. And then as you inhale, left arm reaches up. As you exhale, taking a side stretch over to the right as you bend into that right elbow. Good, lengthening through that side body. Let the head and neck just relax down to the shoulder. And then push the floor away, press yourself to come back up. Left hand comes down, inhale, right arm reaches. And exhale, deep side stretch over to your left. Again, just letting the head and neck just relax down. Good. Inhale to come back up to center. One more on each side. Reaching up as you inhale and exhale over to the left. Good. Inhale to the right, rather. Inhale back to center. Lengthen. And exhale, reaching, stretching over to the left. Good. Inhale, coming back to center. Taking the chin down to the chest, taking the hands on the thighs, just breathing into the back of the neck, and then rolling the head as you inhale over to the right, stretching the left side of the neck. Good, exhale, rolling the head back, chin to chest, and then over to the left. 
keeping the shoulders away from the ears, stretching out the right side of the neck. Good, nice tall spine. Exhale, rolling the head forward over to the right. And slowly rolling forward and back over to the left. Good. And then we'll come back to forward and then chin, head and neck comes up. Taking the right elbow underneath the left for eagle arm so the palms can be together or the back of the hands. As you inhale, lift the elbows up. And as you exhale, draw the chin to the chest and either stay here and take a couple of breaths or maybe fold forwards, reaching the forearms down towards the mat, chin to chest, let the head just relax down. Breathing into the back of the shoulders, broadening across the upper back. And then inhale as you slowly come back up, unravel the arms, reach the arms out to the side, and then switching sides, left elbow under the right, inhale, lift the elbows up, and exhale, forearms draw away from the face, either stay here or maybe folding forwards, forearms come down, chin to chest. Breathing into the back of the shoulders, and inhale as you slowly come back up, unravel the arms, reach the arms out. Inhale, extend the arms up. And as I exhale, taking a twist to the right, left hand on the outside of the right thigh, right fingers behind the hip, and then gently twist, easing over the right shoulder. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to center, lengthen, reaching up, lengthen, and exhale, twisting to your left. Right hand on the outside of the left thigh, Left fingers just behind the hip, keeping the spine tall. Good, back to center. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, draw the palms to the heart and come onto all fours. So moving anything you're sitting on away from you. And then just coming onto all fours, hands and knees. Spreading the fingers wide, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Moving through a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone, moving from the tailbone, rolling through the spine one vertebrae at a time, gazing forward. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, rolling through the spine, chin to chest, draw the palms into the mat, push the floor away. Inhale, arching the back, gazing forward. A little bit of external rotation there in the shoulders as you draw the crease of the elbows forward. And exhale, rounding the back, chin to chest. So a couple more like this, just in your own time and using your breath, so matching movement with the breath. So we're never holding the breath. Keep the breath flowing like the waves of the ocean. Good. And then coming back to center with a flat back. Step the right foot back, keep the shoulders over the wrist, so strong through the shoulders and the arms. Right foot presses back, keep the toe on the mat, and just press the heel back. So getting a little stretch there in the back of that right calf and the back of the leg. If it feels available, maybe start to straighten that right leg, lift the right leg up so it's just at hip height, so the heel is at hip height. Hips are square, so the right hip is in line with the left hip. Flex the back foot till it points down, and then draw the belly up towards the spine, really strong through the core, maybe shifting into that right hand and left arm reaches forward. Good, draw the shoulders back away from the, from the ears, really strong through the core, back leg is strong, reaching through the fingers, one more breath. Good, and then exhale, lower the hand and lower the knee, and we'll switch sides. So extend the left leg back, stay on the ball of that back foot, press the heel back, stretching out that back of the leg. And then you can either stay there, or if it's available, maybe left leg reaches back and lifts up to hip height. So really strong through that back leg, flex the foot, spread the toes, a little bit of internal rotation as you engage that inner thigh. And then draw the belly up and then really squeezing. Feel the obliques working. Everything is strong in the core. Once you have your balance, maybe the right fingers come up and reach the right arm forward. So draw the shoulders back down towards the hips, lengthening through that right arm, 
really strong through the core here. Good. One more breath. Everything's really strong and working. And exhale, lower the hand, lower the knee. Good. Walking the hands over to the right. And then take the hips down towards the left heel, just getting a stretch in that left side body. Breathing into the left oblique, the left hip maybe even. Low back. And then lift the hips up, walk the hands all the way back over through center. And then over to the left and draw the hips down towards the right heel. Using the breath, just nice deep breathing, maybe noticing if there's a difference in size. Good. And then walking the hands back through center. Take the knees nice and wide to the side of the mat. Let the big toes come together. Sink the hips back into the heels for a child's pose. If the hips don't reach the heels, again, you could take a, a, a block or a cushion or a blanket or something underneath the hips, in between the hips and the heels. So a little bit of support there. And then walk the arms forward and lift the palms up, come onto the fingertips. So making like a little tent with the hands, forehead rest down on the mat for a child's pose. So drawing the armpits down towards the mat, draw the shoulders down, a really nice deep stretch in the shoulders as you breathe into the hips here, resting the forehead. You can stay with the finger on the fingertips or you can take the whole palm down onto the mat, a little bit more restful, letting the forearms come down. So this is your child's pose. You can always come back here anytime throughout the practice and breathe and take a break and take a rest. Good. Coming back as you inhale up onto all fours. Take the knees hip width and then walk the hands a little further forward and come all the way down onto the belly. Good. Taking the hands underneath the shoulders, top of the feet are on the mat. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back and down and lift the hands up off the mat just a couple of inches. Squeeze the elbows back and in towards the side bodies. So really engaging the upper back here. The neck is in line with the spine. Little baby cobra, breathe in here. Finding this nice fullness of the breath. Good, one more breath. And then slowly lower back down to the mat, chin comes down. Tuck the toes under at the back and then come back in through all fours. And then hips stay high but walk the hands forward, forehead rest down, puppy pose. So this is a little bit like child's pose but the hips are high. Good. Forehead is down, arms reach out in front. Inhale, come all the way back down onto your belly. And we'll do the same again. So inhale, hands come a little above the mat and squeeze the elbows up and back. Really engaging that area in the upper back. Little baby cobra. Good, the gaze is just down on the mat, maybe a few inches in front. One more breath. And then exhale to lower. Tuck the toes back into that puppy pose. Hips high, forehead rest down, arms extend out. Good. Inhale, float forwards, coming back onto your belly. And this time, wrap the arms around the back, interlace the fingers. Again, keep the top of the feet on the mat, legs are on the mat. As you inhale, lift the shoulders, lift the chest, and reach the arms back. So the hands are drawing back towards the feet. Good. If you can't reach the hands, so if you cannot interlace the hands, you could take a strap or a towel if you have, and then just take one end of it in each hand and reaching back, opening the heart here, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, really strong through the back body. If this is too much for the low back, draw the belly up and in to support the low back, or just don't go as high. So listening to your body, adjusting. Good. And then exhale. We'll come back down to the mat and press back, taking a puppy pose. Hips high, forehead, rest down. 
And then this time coming up onto all fours, plant the hands, tuck the toes, and lift the knees, just lift the knees a couple of inches off the mat. So the knees just lift up, we're still on our uh, tiptoes, and the hands are pressing in. So we're moving towards downward facing dog, but just really strong through the legs, draw the belly in, strong through the core, good. And then begin to straighten the legs a little bit. You can keep the knees a little bent or a little soft to start downward facing dog. So hips up high, feet are hip width, hands are shoulder width. And just maybe pedal out the feet a little bit, so bending one knee deeply, pressing the other heel back towards the mat. Switching side, bending the other knee, pressing the other heel back. And just letting the hips gently sway side to side as you start to warm up the back of the legs, the spine, the hips. Gently swaying the head and neck side to side, nodding. Just releasing any tension in the neck. And then you can maybe straighten the legs if that feels okay for the low back, or you can keep the knees a little bent or soft. So you choose whatever feels best for the low back and for the legs. And then spread the fingers wide, really pressing into all 10 fingers, takes a little pressure off the heel of the hands. Good, a little bit of external rotation in the shoulders here. So maybe at, bend the elbows out to the side and then back towards the leg and then straighten the arms. So really broadening across the upper back. Good, hips up nice and high, draw the belly up and in. If downward facing dog ever gets too much, you can always come back into that puppy pose with the knees down or a child's pose, driving the heels towards the the mat. Good. Inhale, lift up onto the toes, gaze to the front of the mat, then as you exhale, just tiptoe up to the top of the mat, all the way up to the hands. Take the feet hip width and bend the knees deeply, hands on opposite elbows as you come into a little ragdoll forward fold. So finding equal weight on all four corners of the feet, and just breathing into the low back. The knees are nice and bent, belly's down on the thighs, and let the crown of the head float towards the earth. Uh, taking the hands down towards the mat. Wrap the arms around the back, interlace the fingers, and extend the arms up and overhead. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, and just melt the shoulder blades together, and then reaching the arms overhead. You can keep the knees bent here, or you can begin to straighten the legs if that feels available. Good. One more breath here, stretching out the shoulders, and then exhale, hands come back down to the mat. You can bend the knees here if the hands do not reach the mat, or you can take the hand, I'm going to come into a twist here, so the right hand comes into the middle of the mat or on a block, or if you have a little something similar to a block. Bend the right knee here, or maybe bend both knees, and then left arm reaches up towards the sky as you find a little twist. Good. So really strong through that top shoulder. The wrist is over the shoulder, reaching the arms away from each other. Good. Twisting to the left. You can either stay here, maybe wrap the left arm around the back, hooking the hand on the inside of the right thigh, just an option. Breathe, nice detoxing twist. And then exhale, left hand comes down. And switch sides, left hand into the middle, bend the left knee or bend both knees, right arm towards the sky, finding a twist. So maybe taking the gaze up if that's okay for the neck. If not, just let the neck and head relax so you can always just release the neck. Good. Reaching up through the right fingers and then either stay there for a breath or two, maybe wrapping the right arm around the back, finding a little deeper of a twist. Good. And exhale. Hand comes down. Taking the hands onto the hips and then keep the knees a little bent. As you slowly come up with a flat back, draw the belly up and in and draw the back body is nice and strong as you come all the way up 
Draw the feet together, big toes together, heels a little apart, and then root down through the feet. Inhale, circle the arms up, easing up. Interlace the fingers, first two fingers point up. And as you inhale, lengthen, exhale, taking a side stretch over to your right. Let the hips sway to the left and breathing into that left side. Draw that left shoulder back. Good. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, reaching to the right. And then inhale, extend and lengthen, exhale. Taking that deep side stretch to the left, pressing into that right foot as you really lengthen through the right side body. Good. And then inhale back to center. Open the heart as you find a little standing back bend as you reach up, maybe gaze up, open. And exhale, draw the palms down through center in front of the heart. Taking a moment here in mountain pose to dasana. So, Lifting all ten toes, spread the toes, and then placing the toes down lightly. And feeling all four corners of the feet pressing into the mat. Lengthening through the spine, let the crown of the head float towards the sky. And just feeling grounded through the feet, lengthening through the crown of the head. Coming back to your intention here, remembering deeper purpose for practicing yoga this morning. Good. Inhale, circle the arms up, gazing up. Exhale, swan dive down, leading with the heart, Uttanasana, forward fold. You can bend yourself in the knees if you like. Let the head and neck release. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back. So fingers come to the shins or fingertips can be on the mat. Exhale as you fold. Plant the hands on the mat, step the right foot back as you inhale, lower the back knee down, untuck the toes. So if this bothers your knee, you can double over the mat or you could pad under the knee with a blanket or a cushion. Good. Taking the hands onto that left thigh and then shift the hips back a little bit over that back, back leg, that back knee. Good. And so keeping the um, neutral spine here. So really draw the belly in. We're not arching here in the back. And then keep that arch, that, that nice neutral spine core is engaged as you gently draw that right thigh towards the mat, leaning maybe the left knee forward a little bit. You can either stay right here or maybe pressing into that front foot firmly, knee is over the ankle, reaching the arms up, lengthening. Good. Couple breaths here. As you inhale, lengthen through the fingers. As you exhale, maybe going a little deeper, just sinking that right thigh, the hips towards the earth, left knee over the ankle. Good. One more breath here. And then we'll take the palms to the heart. I'm going to twist. So right elbow on the outside of the left thigh and finding a twist. So pressing the palms down towards the heart, heart back up towards the palms. Breathing into the belly, exhale as you twist, and then hands come down to the mat, pressing into the hands, tuck the back toes under, lift the back leg, and step the back foot back coming into a high plank. So shoulders are over the wrists, hips are in line with the shoulders, press the heels back, lift the kneecaps. Exhale as you shift the weight forward, shoulders come over the fingertips, lower the knees, bend the elbows, hug them into the side, and come down Chaturanga. Finding a little breath here, a little stillness halfway down, and then come all the way down to the mat, untuck the toes. Inhale as you roll the shoulders back and down, lift the chest, and then hands can press into the mat under the shoulders, and coming up into a little, you can stay with baby cobra here if you like. So hands lift up off the mat. If you'd like to come a little further, maybe press the hands into the mat. Elbows are still a little bit bent and hugged into the side for cobra pose. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, slowly lower back down. Inhale, press into the hands. Take the knees wide, finding a child's pose. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, bend the knees, lift up onto the toes, look forward. And exhale, walk up to the top of the mat. 
Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, fold. Press into the feet, root down through the feet, inhale, circle the arms and rise. Gazing up, maybe a little back bend as you open the heart at the top, exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, swan knife down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, inhale, step the left foot back this time. Lower the back knee down, untuck the toes. And then this time, taking the hands up to that right thigh and shift the hips back over that back knee. So coming up a little higher. Draw the belly in, really nice flat in the low back, so strong through the core. Good, inhale here, and then exhale, keep the core engaged, try not to arch the back, and really feeling that nice deep stretch in that back quadriceps, strong through that front leg. You can either stay here, or maybe reaching the arms up, finding a deeper variation, good. So lengthening as you inhale, Draw the shoulders away from the ears and really strong through that front foot, that front leg. Exhale, maybe sinking a little deeper. Good. And then palms to the heart, twisting to the left. Good. Every inhale, find a little bit more length and every exhale, twist. Maybe gazing over the right shoulder, drawing the elbow against the outer thigh. Good. Lifting the belly, the heart away from the thigh. Nice deep breathing. Good. And then slowly release. Hands come down, tuck the back, toes under, lift the back knee. And press firmly into the hands as you step back, high plank. Exhale again, shift the weight forward, come onto the tiptoes. Lower the knees down, bend the elbows, hug them into the side, chaturanga modify, just halfway down, shoulders are in line with the elbows. And then come all the way to the mat, untuck the toes. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down, again you choose baby cobra, or maybe hands press into the mat, a little bit of a higher cobra. Good. Exhale to lower. Inhale, child's pose. Press into the hands, knees come wide, big toes touch, hips sink back, forehead rest down. And exhale, come up, back into downward facing dog, tuck the toes, hips up high. Good, breathing here, taking a couple of long, slow, deep breaths, shaking out the head and neck, pushing the floor away, draw the sit bones up nice and high. Good, and then inhale, lift up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, exhale, walk up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms, come all the way up, reaching up, gazing up, maybe a little heart opening back bend, and exhale, palms to heart center. Bring the big toes together, heels a little apart, bending the knees, inhale, Utkatasana, so sink the hips down nice and low, reaching the arms up, and then draw the weight back into the heels, lift the toes. So if you look down, you should be able to see your toes, so the knees are way back, and then really sinking the hips nice and low, nice deep chair pose. Go draw the belly up towards the ribcage, back towards the spine. Strong through the core, strong through the legs. Good, one more breath. And then palms to the heart, taking a twist to your right, left elbow on the outside of the right thigh, and finding a twist. Trying to keep the knees in line here, so the left knee drawing it back if it's coming forward. Good. You can either stay here, maybe left hand comes down to the outside of the right foot, right arm towards the sky, if that feels available, or the left hand can be on a block or something to support you. Good. One more breath. And then palms back to the heart. Straighten the legs and come into a forward fold. Take the feet hip-width apart. First two fingers wrap around the big toes. 
Inhale as you lengthen the spine, you can bend or soften the knees if you need. And exhale as you fold forwards, elbows draw out to the side, let the crown of the head reach down and just finding a nice deep forward fold. Good. And then releasing the fingers from the toes, take the big toes together again, heels a little apart. Bend the knees, sweep the fingers along the mat and then coming into your chair pose. Heart is open, gaze is forward, maybe a little up, sinking nice and low. And then palms to the heart, twisting to your left, right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Again, drawing the knees in line so the hips are square, so we're just twisting the spine. So draw that right knee if back if it's coming forward so the hip knees are in line. And then you can either stay in here, drawing the palms down towards the heart, heart towards the palms, or maybe spread the wings, right hand down to the outside of the left foot, left arm towards the sky. Finding your breath, keeping your focus, drawing the awareness inward. Good. And then palms back to the heart and folding forwards. Take the feet hip width apart. I'm going to take the whole hand, the palm faces up, underneath the feet, so getting a little counter stretch in our wrist. So inhale as you lengthen, and let the toes come all the way up to the heel of the hands, and exhale as you fold over the legs. So maybe the toes are just pressing a little bit on the heel of the hand, getting a nice deep counter stretch in the wrist. Shaking the head and neck, releasing any tension. Good. And then slowly release the hands. Soften the knees, take the hands on the hips. And then coming up with a flat back, draw the belly up and in. Try the feet together. Inhale, circle the arms and rise. And exhale, palms to heart center. Step the right foot back, <clears throat> about three feet back on the mat. And then the back foot is facing forward, maybe about 30 degrees. You can have the heel of the left foot lining up with the instep of the right foot. Or if you'd like a little wider stance, a little easier, maybe take the right foot out to the right side of the mat a little bit, or maybe the heel to heel. Turning the right hip, that back hip forward a little bit. And then lift the kneecaps a little bit, engaging the quadriceps so we're not hyperextending and locking the legs, so straight, but, um, but a little engagement. Arms extend out, and as you inhale, we're going to reach the left arm forward, and as you exhale, take the left hand down. The back of the hand can just be on the inside of the shin and right arm towards the sky for triangle pose, trikonasana. Good, maybe take the gaze up to the right thumb if that's not too much for the neck, or maybe let the head and neck relax down. So I like to have the back of the hand on the inside of the shin, or if you have a little bit more space, keeping the shoulders stacked, we don't want to be leaning forward, so keep the shoulders stacked. If you have more space, maybe the right left hand can slide down to the ankle. Good, really pressing firmly into the feet here. Pressing into the outside of the back foot, the inside of the front foot, and a little bit of engagement there in the quadriceps. The right hip is gently rolling forward, so really supporting the sacrum and the low back there, good. You can either stay here, maybe turning it into a little bit more challenging, right arm reaches up and overhead, and then lift the left arm up and reach the left arm overhead as well. So really a little more challenging in the legs, and in the core. Good. One more breath. And then back into your triangle. And then reaching, using that top arm to lift you back up. Press into the feet to rise. Extend the arms out. And turn the left toes in and the right toes to the back of your mat this time. We'll come into triangle the other way, so left hip draws forward, and then inhale, reaching the right arm forward, exhale, finding your trikonasana triangle. So again, the back of the hand can just be on the inside of the shin, or maybe lower the hand to the mat, to the, to the ankle or the foot. Left arm reaches towards the sky, 
and making sure that left wrist is over the shoulder so it's not leaning too far back so we're not putting too much pressure on the shoulder. Strong through the legs, pressing into the feet firmly, staying grounded and breathing here, finding that nice deep slow breath. You can stay here for another couple of breaths, or maybe left arm reaches up and overhead, finding the core, the obliques really working there. Maybe right arm reaches forward as well. Good. Really keeping that top shoulder open, strong through the core, legs are engaged. Good, back into your triangle. And then left arm press into the feet, inhale lifting up and arms to the side. Turn the back toes forward and then turn the left foot forward. Bend into the front knee and this time maybe slide the feet a little further away from each other so a little bit of a longer stance for warrior two. So left knee's over the ankle, grounding through the outside of that back foot and then gazing over the left middle finger. Draw the shoulders back over the hips, so we're not leaning forward. And then draw the belly in strong through the core. Sinking down nice and low, feeling real good strength of that left leg. Quadricep almost parallel to the floor. Inhale, flip the palms up. Reverse your warrior here, right hand slides down the back leg. Left arm comes up and overhead, keep bending that front knee. And as you exhale, left elbow on the left thigh, right arm reaches up towards the sky. So you can either stay here, or maybe right arm reaches up and overhead, keeping the arm nice and straight. Palm flips down, so palm faces down, finger, uh, pinky finger faces down. You can stay here for a couple of breaths, or maybe left hand if you have a little bit more space and want to go deeper left hand to the inside of the left foot and sinking the hips a little lower. Good, again, grounding through that back leg, the outside of the back foot is pressing into the mat. Keep drawing the left knee over the left pinky toe side, so not coming into the big toe side, right over the ankle. Good, one more breath here. And then press firmly into the mat, right arm comes all the way back up and lifting back up, straighten the front leg and then turn the, the left foot forward in a little bit and turn the right toes to face the back. We'll come into the same on the other side, so warrior two, virabhadrasana two as you bend into the right knee facing the back now. So knee is over the ankle gazing over the right middle finger, pressing into the outside of the back foot to really straighten that back leg. The back foot is in, just facing in maybe a little bit. And then drawing the shoulders back over the hips. Good, so zipping the inner thighs together, breathing. Inhale, flip both palms up. Reverse warrior, reaching up and back, lengthening. Keep bending that front knee. And then exhale, side angle, right elbow on the right thigh, and left arm reaches up towards the sky. So again, you can stay right here. Maybe left arm reaches up and overhead, palm faces down. Keep drawing that top shoulder open lengthening through that left side body. Even though we're reaching forward, the left shoulder blade is drawing back down towards the hip. So really strong through that shoulder. And then you can either stay here, maybe the right hand comes down to the mat if you have a little bit more space, finding a little deeper variation. Good, strong through the legs, pressing into the feet firmly. Keep the breath flowing. Slowing down the breath, slowing down the mind. And then left arm comes all the way back up, press into the feet, inhale to come back up, straighten the legs, good. 
Taking the hands on the hips this time, and then we'll take both toes, turning both toes in a little bit, press into the outside of the feet, so that's straightening the leg. Hands on the hips, and then inhale, lengthening the spine. Maybe a little opening of the heart here, and exhale, folding forwards. So folding from the hip crease, and then let the hands come down towards the mat. If the hands reach the mat, you can begin to walk the hands back from the mat to the other side of the mat, keeping the elbows bent. Draw the elbows in so the elbows are over the, the wrists. And then shifting a little bit into the balls of the feet, back into the heels, finding that nice deep stretch in the back of the legs, letting the head and neck just release down. Good. And then taking the hands back in between the feet or a little in front of the feet. Take the right hand into the middle. So if you have a block or something, you can use the block. So right hand into the middle. Take the left hand on the sacrum, just on the low back area here, just to the top of the pelvis. And then keep the pelvis uh, level, so we don't want to sort of switch, shift the pelvis side to side. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine, and as you exhale, we're going to twist to the left. So again, keeping the pelvis nice and level, that hand on the pelvis will make sure it's level. You can either stay here, or maybe left arm reaches up towards the sky, finding a twist. Uh, so strong through that right arm, lengthening as you inhale through the spine, and exhale as you're finding a twist. Good, a couple more breaths, pressing into the feet. Good, and then left hand comes back down. Switching sides, left hand comes into the middle, either on a block or on the mat, and then right hand on the sacrum. Inhale, length, and exhale, twist. And then either stay here, or maybe right arm reaches up towards the sky. So keeping the length, maybe take the gaze up, lengthening the spine. Keep the breath flowing every inhale, a little bit more length and expansion every exhale, twist. Good. And then slowly release and come back down. Good, moving the block to the side if you have. Take the hands onto the hips, slowly come up with a flat back. Good. And then turn the left toes to face the front and step the right foot forward. Take the feet now a little wider than hip width, toes pointing out. And if it feels available, bend the knees and come down into a malasana, a deep squat position. So the heels might lift up off the mat, that's okay. And if this doesn't feel available, you can sit on something so you can always be seated on a block or, or on a cushion or something. So you can sit down on something. Palms to the heart and just lengthening the spine here. Just breathing into the low back, breathing into the hips. Take the right hand down to the outside of the right foot. Keep the knees drawing out. And as you inhale, the left arm reaches up, lengthening. You can either stay here, or maybe wrap the left arm around the back, finding a little half bind, opening up that top shoulder. Maybe if it's available, right elbow bends and finding the full bind, but you can always just stay wherever you are and just breathe. Good. And then palms back to the heart, and we'll switch sides, left hand comes down. Reaching the right arm up, inhale, lengthen, good, and either stay here for a couple of breaths, maybe wrap the right arm around the back, maybe a half bind, maybe a full bind, keep drawing the chest, the shoulders back, heart is open, using the breath to guide you, so just being present with your variation, good, and then slowly back to centre, palms to the heart. Taking the hands down to the mat, and then slowly lifting the hips up, take the feet hip width, hands come onto the mat, and coming all the way back up. 
Good. From the top of the mat, inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall, plant the hands, set the left foot back, lower the back knee down, untuck the toes. And then walk the hands on the inside of the right foot, heel to that right foot out to the right. So the foot is out on the side of the mat, maybe pointing out 45 degrees. Finding a lizard, again you can pad under that back knee if it's too much to have the knee down. Maybe gently taking that right hand on the right inner thigh and drawing the thigh away from you, getting nice deep opening in the inner thigh and also maybe in the outer hip. You can stay here or maybe shifting the weight into the left hand, wrap the right arm up and around, nice big circle with that shoulder and then finding a little twist here here, maybe gazing towards the back. Keep drawing that left thigh towards the mat, and you can either stay here, this might be enough of a stretch for that back quadricep, or you can take a hold of the heel or the foot, maybe bend the knee, and then finding a little twist, uh, a little stretch in the back leg as you draw the heel towards the hip. If you have your foot, maybe drawing the shoulders back square to the front, so we're just getting stretch in the back leg, good. Keep drawing that left hip flexor down, breathing into that back leg, and then slowly lowering that foot back down, good. We'll tuck the back toes under, walk the foot back into the middle, and just step forward, coming back into a forward fold, maybe taking a rag doll here. Inhale as you come up halfway, and exhale, hands to the hips, come all the way back up. Good, inhale, circle the arms up, exhale, palms to the heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. And then inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, fall, plant the hands this time, right foot steps back, lower the back knee down, untuck the toes, and take both hands on the inside of the left foot, heel to that left foot, out to the left, finding your variation of lizards. So maybe just staying right here, maybe padding under that back knee, maybe the left hand on the inside of the left thigh as you draw the thigh away. So you can stay right there, just breathe. Or maybe bend the back knee, take a hold of the foot with the left hand as you shift the weight into the right hand, and then heel pressing towards the hip. Keep the heart open so we're not leaning forward with the chest. Get a nice deep stretch in that back quadricep. Good. Breathing here. Good. And then if you have the back foot, gently lower the back foot down, tuck the back toes under, walk the back, the left foot back into the middle, and then step back into forward fold. Bend the knees and just take another little rag doll here so the belly comes down towards the thighs. Shaking the head and neck, taking the hands to the mat, take the hands on the hips, inhale to come up with a flat back, reaching the arms up, and exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, step back as you inhale all the way into a plank position. And as you exhale, lower the knees, Bend the elbows and come all the way down onto your belly, onto the front. Take the chin on the mat and then wrap the arms around the back, interlace the fingers. As you inhale, lift the shoulders, lift the chest, lift the head, reach the arms back and lift the legs, so locust variation. So really strong through the back body. Good. Nice and high, squeezing the muscles along the spine. Whole back of the legs are working. Good. 
Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Draw the hands towards the feet. One more breath. And slowly lower back down. Take the right ear on the mat. Arms just come alongside the legs. And take a breath. And then chin comes back on the mat. This time reaching the arms all the way forward. Palms face each other. As you inhale, lift the arms and the legs. Full locust variation. So pressing through the balls of the feet, really spread the toes, keeping the feet about hip width, arms about shoulder width, really lifting a little higher, nice strong through the back body, breathing here, never holding our breath, and exhale to lower left ear comes onto the mat, bring the arms back alongside the legs, and maybe shifting the hips a little side to side, just a little release of the low back. Taking the chin back on the mat, bending the knees if that feels available. We're going to come into bow pose. So you could do the other, you can do locust again, just what we did again if you like. Arms and legs straight out and lift up. Or bow pose, bending the knees, taking the arms, wrap the arms around the back, and maybe take a hold of the ankles. As you inhale, we're going to lift the legs up, the thighs up, and press the feet into the hands. Keeping the knees hip width so the knees are not splaying out, and then lift the chest. Good. So nice little back bend, really working the whole back body, lengthening the front body. Breathing here. Maybe going a little higher. Good. And then exhale slowly, release. Right here comes back onto the mat. Keep the knees bent and just windshield wiper the lower legs side to side. Good. Straighten the legs back along the mat. Tuck the toes, press the hands under the shoulders. Push yourself back and take a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes come together, sink the hips back, child's pose. The arms can either be out in front or maybe bring the arms back alongside the legs. So just resting the shoulders. Breathing here. Forehead rest down. Take the hands in front of you again. Come up onto all fours and just find your way into a seat on the mat and extend the legs out long. Good, so flexing the feet, lift the kneecaps. Feeling the sit bones grinding down, so maybe shift side to side. You could sit up on a little blanket or something to raise the hips if you like, if the spine is rounding at the back. And then inhale, reaching the arms up, lengthening, and exhale, folding over the legs, forward fold. So trying to keep the shoulders lifted, we're not rounding the back. Draw the belly down towards the thighs first, chin towards the shin, and then crown of the head towards the feet. You can take a hold of whatever you can reach, side of the shin, the ankles, or the feet. If you have a strap, maybe taking the strap around the soles of the feet. Every inhale length and every exhale fold, letting the head and neck relax. And just surrendering here into your forward fold, breathing into the back body, nice deep counter pose for our back bends. Slowing down the breath, breathing all the way into the belly, exhale and just release, allowing the exhale maybe to take you a little deeper. Good, and then slowly inhale as you come back up. Take the hands under the back of the thighs and bend the knees and take the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Again, sit up nice and tall, feel the sit bones rounding down, hands on the feet. Inhale as you roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen, and exhale, folding forwards. Elbows maybe press on the inner thighs. If you want a little deeper stretch there in the inner thighs and the hips, and then reaching the, the heart forward, uh, letting the head and neck just relax. Maybe 
As you inhale, slowly coming back up. Take the hands on the outside of the thighs and then draw the knees together and extend the legs long. Extending the arms out and coming all the way down onto your back. Draw the shoulders down, shoulder blades down the back and draw the belly down towards the spine. Nice and slowly using the core as a little break to come down. Gently and slowly, head comes down last. Bend the knees and draw the knees into the chest and just give yourself a squeeze, a gentle release of the low backs, rocking maybe side to side, wrapping the arms around the shins. And then taking the knees, the hands rather, on the kneecaps, draw the thighs away from you a little bit. And take both knees together in little circles in one direction. Just little circles around the sacrum and the low back and the pelvis area and then switching direction. Breathing into the low back. Good. Extending the left leg long towards the front of the mat. Keep the right knee bent into the chest and then take that right hand on the outside of the left thigh as you draw, I'm sorry, the left hand on the outside of the right thigh. So you draw that right knee over to the left, taking the right arm out to the right, finding a spinal twist. So we're not forcing the, the, the twist, just using the breath just to guide the twist naturally. The hand is maybe just gently pressing, guiding the knee down, but no force. Finding this balance between effort and ease and all our yoga postures. Listening to the body. Using the breath to guide you. Good. Gently draw that right knee back to the chest. And then extend the right leg long towards the left. And then bend the left knee. Right hand maybe on the outside of the left thigh. As you draw that left knee over to the right. And left arm comes out to the left. Keep the left shoulder rooting down to the mat as you find that twist. Maybe gently taking the gaze over the left shoulder. Just being very careful with the neck so we're not doing too much twisting with the cervical spine. So only if it feels okay for the neck and the head. Good. Breathing here. And then slowly Coming back to center, drawing both knees into the chest now, knees come a little wider, so drawing the knees out towards the shoulders, so the knees are wide, and then lift the feet up so the feet are facing up towards the ceiling, you can either take the hands on the back of the thighs here for happy baby modification, or if the hands reach the feet, Bend the knees deeply, you can take the hands on the feet and gently rock side to side. A little release here of the hip joints. A little bit of traction as you press the feet a little bit up towards the hands and the hands a little bit down towards the feet, so getting a little traction there. Finding balance side to side. And then drawing the knees back into the chest, squeezing everything in, thanking yourself for being here this morning, practicing yoga, and thanking your body for everything it does for you in this lifetime. And as you exhale, letting the whole body just be relaxed, moving into Shavasana, letting the body rest, lying down, legs are straight out. Arms a little away from the body, palms face up. And just open to receive energy from the universe and to offer up the energy we've cultivated in our practice today. Just coming back to normal breath. Letting the eyes be closed and heavy. The jaw is relaxed, the cheekbones are relaxed. Just softening down through back of the head, the neck, the throat, letting the shoulders just be relaxed and let go, the arms, the hands, the fingers, finding stillness in the whole body, 
the back body, the chest, the belly, the pelvis, the hips. Letting the legs just release the feet and the toes. Drawing the awareness inward, finding the breath. If the mind is wandering, just noticing where the mind is at. And just drawing the awareness back to the steady flow of the energy, the prana, the breath. Flowing freely, creating space in the body. As the body rests. 